Hi friends, uh, welcome back to Avu Duda Yoga. This is Abhilash here and hope you all are uh, doing well. And today we are going to learn a twisting asana which is called Artha Malsyendra Asana or half spinal twist. You know this asana got its Sanskrit name from the great sage Malsyendra who is one of the first teachers of Hatha Yoga. And this asana is very helpful for people who practice yoga because after lots of forward bend and backward bend, spinal twist or uh, Artha Malsyendra Asana gives a lateral stretch to your entire vertebra, hips and your back muscles. And this asana got lot of other benefits which I am going to explain you at the end of this video and kindly watch the video till the end and uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel till now you can subscribe also so now let's go and do the asana okay let's uh, go for the artha malsendra asana so first of all stretch your legs forward and bend your left knee and place your left foot near to your side of your right parax and now bend your right knee and make sure that your left knee is pointing forward and right heel is coming near to your, placing near to your left knee now inhale right hand up and exhale place it back of your body near to your buttocks fingers pointing backward and if you are a beginner it is very difficult to go and catch your ankle in such cases as a beginner what i suggest you i'll show you how what to do inhale left hand up stretch towards your right side and elbow on the outside of your right knee and place it like this and look back and breathe this is as a beginner breathe keep on breathing in the asana you can breathe if you breathe properly you can sustain in the posture for more time and and if you are flexible and you are are intermediate practitioner or you are doing yoga for quite some time they will be able to catch the ankle so for them stretch hands upward left hand upward and stretch towards your right and catch your right ankle again inhale exhale turn look over your right shoulder and breathe close your eyes and breathe one two three four five and when you come back again inhale left hand up and bring it down and release your right hand and release your both legs stretch your both legs forward so we did one side now we have to do the other side also now let's do the other side now bend your right knee and place your right foot near to your left buttock and make sure that your right knee is pointing forward now bend your left knee and place your left heel in front of the right knee so this is the position now inhale left hand up and exhale place it near to your buttocks fingers pointing backward and inhale right hand up and stretch towards your left side as a beginner keep your right elbow near to your left end of your left knee and look back it's for the beginner because they will not be able to catch the ankle so they can place it like this and look back over the left shoulder breathe and otherwise you can catch your left ankle and same inhale 
exhale twist and look over your left shoulder and breathe close your eyes one to every exhalation try to stretch more three four five when you come back right hand up and slowly bring it down and release your left hand and release both legs and straight and there is a counter stretch after doing this you have to do a counter stretch counter stretch bend your both knees and bring it closer to your chest and look straight and breathe keep on breathing spine straight then you can bring your chin or your foot if chin is not possible for beginners it is impossible sometimes it will be a little challenging for them so for them they can bring their foot down towards the knees and breathe keep on breathing you will get a very good stretch on your entire back keep on breathing then release so that's how uh, you do uh, artha malasendrasana or spinal twist now let's uh, talk about the benefits of uh, spinal twist or artha malasendrasana spinal twist uh, keeps the spine elastic and it will help you to improve your side to side mobility and the lateral stretch always helpful or it can relieve pain from your lower back and synovial fluid on the joints can increase through this asana and it will help the joints to increase its flexibility spinal nerves and sympathetic nerve system will be toned and more fresh blood will be supplied which can stimulate the glucose release from liver stimulating the sweat gland and intestine this asana can relieve constipation and uh, digestive problems and it can improve your appetite and it is helpful for your gallbladder spleen kidney and liver so these are the benefits you can avail when you practice this asana on a regular basis i hope you all like the video and kindly share with your friends as usual and if you didn't subscribe my channel till now you can subscribe right now and thank you so much for watching and listening to me and we will see you with another wonderful and beneficial video regarding yoga till then goodbye